Hi, in this video I'll show some of the Imagine technologies of Alani software in a demo application intended for batch image processing. The start screen of the application allows creation of a new image processing project or opening one of already created. Our project should have a name. It's Project 01. Now we need to indicate the work folder where scans will be manipulated before exporting. Once this is done, we go to Importing tab of the application and set the folder where scans will be imported from. After writing a folder, you can check if it has the required scans inside by opening the folder in the Explorer right from the application. Now, let's go to Image Processing tab. Here we can see the imported images on the left. On the right, there is a list of available filters grouped in categories. The scans we have here demonstrate some of the typical book scanning issues, such as finger shots, uneven background and warped text lines. Let's first see the work of Fingershot Masking tool on several scans. It finds and removes the fingers from the scan by filling them with background color. Adding a filter is done in a click. Once it is done, we can browse through imported pictures in the gallery and review the effect. Now the finger shot is gone and we can focus on other improvements. Let's add text to warping to processing sequence. Looks much better. The next step is getting rid of reverse page bleeding through. Let's add background removing to make the page look nice. After converting the page to black and white, it looks almost flawless and will take less storage space on our HDD. If we want to save some more space, we can crop the page to the printing area by threading one more filter to the sequence. Cropping preview allows you to adjust the frame. Let's compare the imported scan and the result by browsing the initial state and the last filter output and see the work of text to warping on other pages. Now, let's see how we can process a typical overhead book scanner image. First thing to do is correct the cropper page from a half-open book spreadshot. It's done with page extraction filter. Converting the page to black and white and cropping to print area. Oops! Obviously there are some speckles that get in the way of cropping. Not a big deal though. Let's insert noise removing in between, increase the speckle size to be removed and crop again. Another typical issue is shown here. The paper was not flat at scanning and has darker areas. Let's use lightness equalization filter and see what happens. Now we can remove the background and seal the result. Some of our customers require specific functions such as this one. It can build up a damaged document to its original rectangular shape using document background color. Another way to restore a document shape is to enlarge it to the size of the image. It might be useful when you need to have all pages in the same size. Let's convert the result to black and white for the better look. Now you can crop the page to print area or any other required size.
as you can see all traces of initial page damage are gone now. Let's check the performance of our automatic disqueuing tool, which is an essential function for accurate text recognition. These pages are heavily inclined. Some of renowned tools give up on them due to a high skew angle. We will straighten them up and clean them afterwards. This newspaper fragment looks pretty dirty. Let's see if we can clean it up by removing background. Please note that the graphic area in the title is left as is. However, this option can be switched off if necessary. Our noise cleaning is best viewed on a zoomed image. Here is a fragment of a newspaper with typical noise artifacts. For the best effect, I am converting the scan to black and white, applying cleaning and adjusting the size of speckle to be removed. In the last part of the clip I will quickly demonstrate how we can improve the quality of the text by fixing Swiss cheese artifacts in text characters without touching non-text contents of the page. Thanks for watching. We will be happy to hear your comments or questions about our Imagine software. You can type them in comment section of this video or contact us by email. The address is displayed on screen.